Hello. Some of you have been wondering the things that I've been thinking, and uh, a couple of you have said that you have missed my daily post, and so I am posting today. I have been thinking some on Psalm 19. Psalm 19, so it goes like this if you can't uh, remember right now. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day, they pour forth speech. Night after night, they display knowledge. There is no speech or language where their voice is not heard. Their voice goes out into all the earth, their words to the ends of the world. In the heavens, he has pitched a tent for the sun which is like a bridegroom coming forth from his pavilion, like a champion rejoicing to run his course. It rises at one end of the heavens and makes its circuit to the other. Nothing is hidden from its heat. I'm going to tell you the truth. Right now, I believe this word of the Lord to be true. Nothing is hidden from this heat. Say amen with me. If you are anywhere near me in Bishop right now, you know it's hot. It's not just hot. It is hot, hot, hot. It's like triple hot because it's triple digits. And it's not just a regular kind of hot. It's like living in a blow dryer hot. It's so hot that I am sweating. Now in the South, when you're sweating, it's just a common thing because there's so much humidity in the air that you can't really tell whether the moisture that's coming from you is created by you or is coming in from the outside. But here, if you sweat, you know for a fact that it's the heat. It is, it is your body trying to give away its water to the heat that is surrounding you. And I'm going to tell you the truth. I haven't been posting much because I've been trying to get over this heat stuff. And what's complicating it for me right now is that I'm entering into this season where I'm going through some hormonal changes. I'm in, in my 40s now. And I'm going to tell you, these hot flashes, they're not for the week. They're not for the week. And if it's triple digits outside... And you having a hot flash, and I understand the Baptist version of hell. Okay, so I am just telling you, I have got to, I believe in air conditioning, and I do not believe in swamp coolers. Understand me now. The swamp cooler at my house cools my house down to a balmy 90 to 95 degrees in the middle of the day with it being 102 outside, or even if it's only 98 or 99 outside. Swamp coolers to me are the, meth uh, the, the common uh, version of snake oil. I'm just letting you know that right now. I don't believe in it. I don't believe in it. I believe in air conditioners. Now, I don't know how much of a devotion this is, but I, what I'm telling you is that God sees us even in the heat. God sees us in the cold and this place that we're living in right now. It's very extra. When it's hot, it's way hot. When it's cold, it's way cold. When it's fall, it's way fall. When it's spring, well, spring was so short, I don't even remember it this year, but it was, I'm sure it was way spring. But here we are in the middle of a very extra kind of, situation and to add something to it we in an extra kind of moment in the life of our country and civilization all this stuff is happening all this stuff is happening people protesting in the street people protesting uh, for the black lives matter or for the i don't want to wear a mask crowd everybody got something to protest right now now, some of those things I support more than others. That's the truth. But I'm going to tell you, it's too hot to do any of the above. It's just too hot. But here I am in this situation with y'all just saying, y'all may not hear from me every day because truthfully, I'm, I'm just trying to survive the summer. 
and I'm trying to stay cool and I'm trying to do the most I can to, to keep it positive. And I tell you what, these things where these house churches are getting up and going and I praise God for that. I have blessings. Let me start to count them. Number one, I'm blessed to have an air conditioner in the church office. Praise God for that. Number two, I'm blessed that the people are actually starting to get together and have these backyard, front yard church meetings. We've got about seven different groups going, and I hope that number will rise. People are safely doing this with their masks, social distancing, taking all those things into account in very small groups. So I'm very proud of that. And if you're interested in that, I hope you will let us know that you're interested so that we can connect you with some other folks and get that group going. I am grateful uh, that so far, my, my folks uh, in my family and my folks in um, this church have not come down with the COVID virus. Thank God for that. I'm grateful that even in the midst of the tumult of this time, that there's good that's coming out of it. So many people are, are thinking about things that they hadn't thought of before, doing things they hadn't uh, done before that may yet prove to be better for our country. And I, I'm praying for that. I am grateful for my fabulous family and for the opportunities to social distance and do things that matter, uh, whether that's online or whether that's uh, with the uh, distance learning programs for our children and whatnot. I'm grateful for all this. There's a lot of things I'm grateful for, but I tell you the truth. This heat, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I just do. <laughs> and I will try to do better to put some stuff out there for you um, that will help encourage you. But right now, I'm just in solidarity with you in the midst of this heat wave to, to you just try to stay hydrated and stay cool and know and know that God, who put that sun in the sky, who is the creator of the heavens and the creator of you, does love you does care for you, is going to pull us all through. It's going to pull us all through this time. Peace be with you, and I'll talk to you later.